Well, okay, here we are on uh, stripping enamel off of vents using a uh, chemical approach. Um, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on enamel. It's also called porcelain, and it's also called vitreous enamel. Vitreous enamel is made up of powdered glass, which is called frit, F-R-I-T, plus other chemicals, various oxides and things to make the porcelain have various characteristics. Some of the characteristics are heat resistance, some of the characteristics are acid resistance. Now the frit itself, that glass, is also not just silica, it's other chemicals they put in the smelter to make that type of frit glass. And once again, the various chemicals they put in affect the qualities of that frit. I know this because I worked quality control in a factory that made porcelain enamel for like ovens and things like that. So I got a pretty good background on what the vitreous enamel is. Now, I say that to say this. We were working with one of these older 220 vents and I put it in and the enamel, the vitreous enamel, came off okay with uh, manual abrasion. I used a wire wheel, but it didn't get it all off. It was more like this, you know, after it soaked for a while. So I threw it back in the tank another couple hours, then hit it with the wire wheel, and there was less of the vitreous enamel stuck on it. Altogether, it took about well, it was in the tank about 40 hours, and I was pulling it out about every five hours to, to wire wheel it. Eventually, it all came off. Now, I thought just as a science project, I'm going to take a more contemporary 220 vent and put it in and see how the sulfuric acid affects that, and it affected it very little. They had changed the formula of the vitreous enamel from the early 220s to the later 220s. So on this one, what I had to do <coughs> with my map gas torch, go around the edges and heat it till it was cherry red, and I put it back in the, in the bath, and a little bit came off. I had to heat it again, put it back in the bath, and a little bit more came off. Um, eventually, if I was going to replate this one, I could get all the enamel off just you know by leaving it in the tank. Um, the upside of this method as opposed to molten sodium hydroxide is you're not going to burn yourself unless you splash acid in your face. The molten sodium hydroxide is really nasty stuff. The downside of this method is it's incredibly labor intensive. It takes a lot of time put it in the bath, wire wheel it, take it out, wire wheel it again. The way they put vitreous enamel on, there's two ways to do it. You can spray it on or you can dip it. Coleman dips these in a solution and they lift it up. What that means is around all the edges it's thicker because it drips down and then in the crevices it's thicker uh, because that's just the way it settles. So anyway, that's the deal. Now this one, <laughs> what I did was I got it all stripped and I nickel plated it. I didn't do any metal finish work on this. Um, typically it takes about two and a half, three hours of buffing and grinding to get one of these to the point where it has a mirror finish on it. I really didn't have time to fart around with it. Uh, but I just <coughs> wanted to see how well it would plate. And it's not bad, you know, it, it's, it's okay. Um, yeah, and depending on how you're going to use it, it's okay. Now this one, I don't know if you notice, kind of has a copper color. The reason for that is my sulfuric acid 
Uh, I also use it to clean uh, copper and brass, and there's ions floating around which they will deposit on the steel. But when I wire wheel this, it'll come up bright and silver. So anyway, it's not exactly the silver bullet to make life easy and quick. Uh, it works, but as I said, it's labor intensive. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use this technique again for stripping enamel. If I, because I, I like the sodium hydroxide, it's, it's quick and fast, and first time in and first time out, it's all clear. But if I do this again, um, I'll probably make up a vat of sulfuric, throw about five or six of them in, and forget about it for two or three weeks. Just let them soak for a long time. Hopefully that'll get it all off. So anyway, that's where we're at. And uh, I'm, I'll ship this back to you this week. Alrighty, have a good night. Bye.